There's definitely something different about this brew. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for Playthings. Now, admittedly, Arrow isn't here it's because she's sleeping. This was put together by a writer who's only wrote one other time for Supernatural, and in fact, actually wrote for a bunch of British television shows. The director has done some episodes later on in his career for the show. The brothers go to this hotel that's shutting down that has had a bunch of very mysterious suicides, and they start to realize that there is a spirit there, a little girl, the daughter of the owner of the place. She's speaking with who you think is her sister, but actually turns out to be a imaginary friend who actually turns out to be the ghost, the spirit that is haunting the place. And what we get from this episode is actually an unresolved event. It's something that the brothers don't find out, but not only that, we get actually a really good Shining reference. Didn't need to be there but it's there. Does it make sense to the story? I, not really, but it's there and it's very well done. First off, I definitely wanna say I actually really enjoy this episode. I enjoy it because it is so different from anything that the recent seasons have done. There's some very good editing. For instance, when they're talking about Rose for the first time, there's a slow pan in about her, slow fade in fact, and they're building up to her and then snap cuts back to the mom saying, no, you're not going in there. And that is also use of how the episode ends with these slow walks through the hallways leading to the girls doing the whole skipping rope thing as spirits, uses every single minute to slowly build this episode. This is one of the slowest burn episodes, but it's an intriguing slow burn. I don't remember liking this episode as much when I was a teenager, and I think I can see why. This is kind of like almost on the level of like an A24 sort of horror film now, which is very intriguing considering the way that the show went and how the show was. This is a lot of really good subtle horror themes. There's a lot of good subtle homages. Sure, there are some parts that don't work out as well. Maybe the jokes about the brothers being a couple has an age as well. The scene where Sam gets drunk is horrible. The acting's horrible there, I'm sorry. They never really did anything like this again as far as I can remember. And it's a shame because I actually really liked how it played out. It's got some cool twists, it's got some interesting characters, and it's just a really well put together episode. In the end, I'm gonna give this episode a five out of seven. It's a great episode. It's definitely different from what we were used to for Supernatural. We wouldn't do something like this again. And I can understand why some people wouldn't enjoy this, but for me personally, I thought it was really good. I liked it. Anyways, for the last review, I asked you guys to give me your comments about this episode. So let's read some off now. Playthings is a great one. It's a really good homage to The Shining. The boys go to a haunted hotel. They stay in room 237 with a spirit of a little girl who wants someone to play forever and ever and ever, very reminiscent of The Shining. Scary episode that makes it clear that Supernatural is a horror show made for horror fans. Lately, Supernatural seems to have forgotten its own genre. Great episode. I have no complaints. By the way, the, the final scene with the girls girls skipping rope is a little nod to the dead girls from Nightmare on Elm Street. Kripke is a horror fanatic, and he made sure that each episode played a, like a classic horror film. I miss him in the show. You and everyone else, my friend, I uh, don't disagree with you at all. Plaything stands out for me because it's one of the rarest episodes where the boys don't really solve the case. They just take the girl's word that the ghost is gone and that it will leave them alone. Also, drunk Sam is hilarious to witness him until he goes emo. I'm sorry, he was just kind of emo the whole time. I I didn't enjoy it at all. He, when he went emo, it was even worse. But then again, very good point about how the boys don't solve it. I always like episodes where it wasn't clean cut when they wouldn't fully resolve the issue, like there would be a, a lingering issue, kind of like Hell House. I don't like the plaything stories all that much on rewatch, probably th because the mystery was interesting the first time around. I do appreciate the bar scene set up the uh, look like The Shining, which is a pretty cool homage. What I like about the episode the little jokes sprinkled through, especially, dude, you're not gonna poke over the stick. I admit that the little humor elements that came into this episode were quite random, but they always worked pretty well. Except for Drunk Sam. That was horrible. Thank you guys again for your comments. Next episode is Night Shifter. This is one of the biggest episodes in Supernatural history. I can't wait to talk about that episode. Please leave your comments below. Anyways, that's all for me. See you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.